forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tenpenny. I was just wondering what took y'all so long. Get in the car. Ease up, man. Damn. Watch your head. <clears throat> ah! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Get out of here, you greaseball bastard! Stupid Mexican. Oh, hey, sorry. My bad. Hey, man, my bad. How you been, Carl? How's your wonderful family? I'm here to bury my moms. You know that. Yeah, I guess I do. So what else you got shaking, Carl? Nothing. I live in Liberty City now. I'm clean. Legit. Nah, you ain't never been clean, Carl. Well, what do we got here? This is a weapon, Officer Pulaski, that was used to gun down a police officer not ten minutes ago. Officer Pendleberry, a fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. You know I just got off the plane. Well, that's a good thing we found you. We retrieved the murder weapon. That ain't my gun. Don't bullshit me, Carl. Yeah, don't bullshit him, Carl. What the fuck you want from me this time? When we want you, we'll find you. In the meantime, try not to gun down any more officers. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me here. This ball is country. I thought you said you was innocent, Carl. You don't bang. This is car 58. See you around like a donut, what? Carl. <laughs> Officer Pendleberry's down? Oh shit. Here we go again. Worst place in the world. Rolling Heights ball of country. Now I ain't represented Grove Street in five years. But the ballers won't give a shit. That's cool. Nice car, Smoke. You know me. It's not cut. Keep the value in it. Keep it real. I've missed you these five years, man. They're gonna be real happy to see you. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey. Good to see you. I can't believe she gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, oh, nigga. Oops. And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out of my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with them essays. You know we beefed it. Ain't nothing but a Look, bunch of low lives. Look, what the fuck are you? At least I got Prince. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit, As long bitch. as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell are you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Asshole. Here we go again. This shit's real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? Things are going real bad. Here, let me show you running, man. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. 
It's Big Devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on food first, then ask questions second. They never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhood, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? Treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay. You've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City, 24 karat gold these days. Colombians, the Mexicans, hell. Even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Time to change it. Families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice place. Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. How's he gonna hold the city? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great. Hey, well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off, drinking coffee. 
This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine. And then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not I told you, happen. shut up, I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's, tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectful. Okay, go, come on. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti, he's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we will call it. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my Mr. Edis! Caramia, would you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with... Love fest. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? It's silent. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve and Scott. The throws a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Now, you never saw anything like that. Colonel, your party's a devil a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then another amigo. How do we find you? <clears throat> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get out of here. Actually, take me to the proposition. 